Now to the border war over water between Nebraska and Colorado that's also leaving state leaders divided. The Perkins County Canal Project would divert a portion of the South Platte River into Nebraska. KETV News Watch 7's Alex McLoon is live with the newly completed report from engineers and why eastern Nebraska might need the water. Alex. Bill, our side of the state is growing and state industries like agriculture need that resource to the west. But Colorado is also growing and a state senator who's in charge of appropriations worries the now projected $567 million canal could be a colossal waste of money. In a newly finalized report, engineers say the Perkins County Canal will enable Nebraska's agriculture and economy. But the state senator in charge of appropriations says nobody's factoring a potential wake of lawsuits. Certainly a lot, but the potential for a lawsuit with Colorado. Report says Nebraska has a right to build a canal based on a century old agreement with Colorado from 1923. But Senator John Stinner is standing against a stream of support. Engineers say the project provides benefits that exceed project costs. Governor Pete Ricketts says we must construct the canal to secure our water resources along the South Platte River. Governor-elect Jim Pillen is prioritizing the project, saying, I agree with the evaluation and support continuing the project to make sure we keep every drop of water in our state that we are legally entitled to. That's one of his priorities. I just happen to think, you know, for $500 million is not the right number, number one. Uh, it's going to be more costly than that. Number two is I think it's one of the larger outlays that the state taxpayers have to go through. And I think it's a colossal waste of money. UNL water attorney Anthony Schutz explains why it matters to the panhandle. It's really for agricultural use, irrigation, which is the largest user of water in the state. Engineers summarized their 200-page report saying failure to build the project will forfeit Nebraska's South Platte River water supplies that are used to fuel approximately $700 million in benefits for Nebraska's economy. This analysis demonstrates that building the project is cost effective. I just think there's other pressing priorities in the state of Nebraska. Engineers say it'll take 11 years to build that canal, but the state senator says federal government and Army Corps of Engineers could drag out that timeline. Bill, the, leg the legislature starts a new session next week, and you can read the engineer's full report at KETV.com. It's, it's a pretty lengthy one, Bill. Back to you.